Hi, and welcome to Jules Voto's Photo Focus. In my last video, I talked about adapting Nikon F mount autofocus lenses to the Nikon Z mirrorless cameras. In this video, the focus will be on the compatibility of manual focus lenses using the Nikon F to Z adapter, as well as several third party adapters. All the following were tested on a Nikon Z6, Z7, Z50, and it should all work the same on the new Z62 and Z72. I'm going to start with Nikon F mount lenses on the F to Z adapter. Now in the instructions for that adapter, Nikon states that certain F mount lenses will not work. First on that list are non-AI lenses. So what are non-AI lenses? They are lenses that were manufactured by Nikon from the introduction of the Nikon F in 1959 until 1977. Now in 77, they didn't change the mount, but what Nikon did, they changed the way the lens mechanically communicates aperture information to the camera. And those lenses are called AI lenses. Now you also see on the use, in the used camera market, AI lenses. Those are non-AI lenses that were converted to AI. I tested about 10 non-AI lenses on the F to Z adapter, and they all mounted fine, including one that was manufactured in 1960. They work exactly like the later AI and AIS lenses. If you have a non-AI lens, just proceed slowly when mounting it, and if you encounter any resistance, just stop. Most manual focus Nikon lenses do not have a CPU. All the autofocus lenses do. The CPU communicates things like aperture and focal length to the camera. Now you can tell if a lens has a CPU by looking at the back near the bayonet mount, and if you see electronic contacts, that means it has a CPU. So with a non-CPU lens, on a Z6 or Z7, you go to the menu, to the setup menu, and look for an item called non-CPU lens data. There, you can enter up to 20 lenses. And what you do, you put in the focal length and maximum aperture of the particular lens you're going to mount. When you do this, in-body image stabilization is now available for that lens. Now, the Z50 doesn't have that menu item, and of course it doesn't have IBIS built in, but you can still mount a manual lens without a CPU on the F to Z with the Z50. Now, you will notice in the EXIF data for a particular manual focus lens, you will see the focal length and maximum aperture. However, the shooting aperture is not displayed. So if you're shooting at 5.6, and the lens mounted has a maximum aperture of 2.8, it's always going to display 2.8 in the EXIF data with a non-CPU lens. On the Z50, nothing will be displayed for focal length or maximum aperture. With non-CPU lenses, you are limited to manual and aperture priority exposure modes, and you must set the aperture on the lens. You have matrix, center weighted and spot metering, but no highlight weighted metering. Now, if you're in manual exposure mode, you have no exposure scale in the viewfinder or LCD. So you set exposure either using the live histogram or if you have custom setting D8 in the Z6 or Z7, apply settings to live view or custom setting D7 set on the Z50, you can just adjust exposure till it looks right in the viewfinder or LCD. In aperture priority mode, if you set exposure compensation, the exposure scale will appear showing the amount of exposure compensation that you set. As far as focusing goes, you only have focus peaking and magnified view. The other focus aids, such as the electronic rangefinder, and the focusing point turning green will not work. Now, one of the best, most accurate ways to focus is to place a focus point of the area you want to be in focus, 
press the plus button several times on the back of the camera to zoom in to that selected focus point. Now, a better way to do this, an easier way to do this, will be to program your OK button to zoom in 100% to the selected focus point. So you do that, you press the OK button, zoom in to 100%, you focus, press the button again, it takes you back to the full view. I tested a bunch of manual focus Nikon lenses as well as one old F-mount Sologar lens, and they all work the same, whether non-AI, AI, or AIS. I only tested one manual focus CPU lens, the Zeiss 25mm 2.8 ZF2. Now Zeiss, Samyang, and several other companies make manual focus CPU lenses. And with CPU lenses, the aperture must be locked down to its minimum. In this case of the Zeiss, it's f22. If you don't do that, uh, you'll get an error message in the viewfinder or LCD, and you won't be able to shoot. Now you have all your exposure modes, shutter priority, aperture priority, program, and of course manual. And when in manual exposure mode, you have that exposure scale in the viewfinder. You also have matrix, center weighted spot, and highlight weighted metering. You have focus peaking, and the ability to zoom in to the selected focus point. You do not have the electronic range finder or the focus point turning green, except for some reason with the Z50. So with the Z50, that focus point will turn green when you are in focus. Now it is possible that other manual focus CPU lenses will work differently. I also tested four other adapters for compatibility with the Nikon Z cameras. None of the four have electronic contacts. Uh, the first was the KNF concept, Nikon F to Nikon Z adapter. And all my Nikon F mount lenses mounted fine, with one exception. It was a 60 year old 58 millimeter lens that was, was just too tight, it would not mount. I also tested a Fotasi adapter to mount Canon FD and FL lenses, and another uh, Fotasi adapter for M42 screw mount lenses. They work fine, as well as a unbranded Minolta MD mount to Nikon Z. That worked fine as well, with one exception. Uh, no EXIF data was recorded. Even if you set non-CPU lens data on the Z6 or Z7, in the EXIF data, nothing was, was showed up. The uh, focal length was blank, and so was the uh, maximum aperture. But IBIS did work on the Z6 and Z7, so you, you still have that in-body image stabilization with these uh, third-party adapters and lenses. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to tap that bell so you will be alerted anytime I publish a new video, which I will be doing every Wednesday morning. And please let me know if you didn't like it as well. My next video will be on why I like using manual focus lenses on mirrorless cameras. So thanks for watching.